Mandalorian, and I don't know if you got your Star Wars ticket yet because there's a new movie coming out next month, but we got five Star Wars back issues you might want to be on the lookout for, and it's coming up. I have spoken. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian and Jack with Simple Man's Comics, helping to amplify your comic collection through integrity and community. We do a lot of comic and pop culture related content on this channel, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. As mentioned, Mandalorian, fantastic show. If you haven't been watching on Disney+, Plus, make sure you check it out. But we also have the end of the trilogy for the latest Star Wars movie coming out next month as well. So we're here to give you five comic back issues to be on the lookout for, starting with The Force Awakens number one. Now, what's great about this, Jack? Right, now we're going to be talking about modern Marvel first appearances, and there is not a book out there that has more than this one. Obviously, with a new set of movies under the Disney banner and the comic coming back home to Marvel, there's going to be a slew of new characters, and so many of them are featured for the first time in this book. Now, we're talking about the first appearance of Kylo Ren. We're talking about the first appearance of Rey. We're talking about the first appearance of Finn. And we're talking about the first appearance of Snoke, all being featured in one book. Now, there's a lot of cover price variants, a lot of ratio variants. And a lot of these books are out there below ratio. A lot of those kind of that cover A and cover price books can be found for cover price or less. That's what ends up happening with a lot of movie adaptations. But with these characters becoming so popular in pop culture, it's something I would be on the lookout for, especially if you can find good value. It's definitely something you're going to want in your collection if you're a Star Wars comic collector. And then coming in at number four, we get Poe Dameron number one. This is a great book for a great series, but it also has a couple first appearances. And the book is still relatively cheap, isn't it? Absolutely. There was a lot of store exclusives for issue number one. Um, it came out before the Force Awakens book. And I think the Star Wars kind of fervor for these upcoming movies was at an all-time high. But because of that, this number one issue is oftentimes found in discount boxes. And, it, of course, it's the first appearance of Poe Dameron himself, as well as his sidekick, BB-8. So that's definitely a book that I would be on the lookout for at a discounted price because it is one that I think will hold on long-term interest within the collectible market. Right. One thing we say pretty much probably for all the books on this list, um, especially – the Force Awakens. It was a movie that had a lot of anticipation. Still a great movie, but also kind of retread of A New Hope, at least in my opinion. So when those books came out, there was some fervor at the beginning because of the characters. And then because the movie wasn't as spectacular as a lot of people hoped, I think some of the popularity died down. But we all know, myself included, as Star Wars fans, as you start getting away from that, you look back at it and go, man, you know what? I'm going to go pick up those books. Now's a good time to pick up some of those books because, like you said, all these books are fairly cheap. Cover right. price average, right? Yeah, yeah. I, definitely the cover A's. You can all find them for cover price. Yeah. So with that being said, let's move on into number three. And at number three, staying with our good pal Poe Dameron, we're going Poe Dameron number two. Well, this is my favorite book on the list, Brian, because this is the first appearance of Captain Phasma. I think this is a character that reminds me, and don't shoot me, Star Wars fans, of Boba Fett. In that, this character was introduced. There was a lot of merchandise. It was an extremely popular character. But we didn't really get much of the character's backstory. She was in. She was out. But we're yeah, talking, about feet. talking about a throwaway character. Right. You're talking about a, a female stormtrooper who kind of had a leadership role. Um, there's certainly a lot of marketability there. But this is the beauty with the Disney Plus app, with what they're doing with Mandalorian. These are characters they can always go back to and fill in some of that backstory, let us know more details about this character. So because of that, and because we're talking about a number two issue after a major number one, there's less printing, but also less interest. This number two issue is readily available in dollar boxes. I have bought this book every time I see it in dollar boxes. There's also a 1 in 25 Declan Shelby variant, which is kind of a tough find. But that book, I think, has some long-term potential. There's also a first appearance of a Marvel Comics-created character, Terex, um, who has been extremely popular, extremely powerful character within these new Marvel Comics series, which obviously, I think one day they'll mine these comics for future characters to appear in the movies or in the TV show. And in at number two, annual number one. 
And why is that, Jack? Well, this is the first appearance of Ine Bray. And, and Ine Bray is a human spy for the rebellion, looking to kind of like restore order in the Republic. Um, he was really involved in the Galactic Civil War. And he's been a, a extremely popular character within the comic book series. And I think that collectors, uh, Star Wars fans, they're looking for characters that were created organically in the comic book series who can one day become kind of popular on the big screen. And this is a character that collectors immediately identified. Sometimes these books will sell for like $15 on eBay. So this is a, a book that is heavily picked up, but can still often be found for cover price in back issue bins. It's not widely known who this character is yet, so now is kind of the time to be looking for this book. Right, I'm sure there's uh, Star Wars fans, hardcore fans out there that are like, whatever, I don't know who that character is, but the general population, like you said, this might be a character you might not be aware of, and easy to pick up, and well affordable. Then coming in at number one, sticking with that Darth Vader theme, we're going with Darth Vader number one. Well, this is the first appearance of Dr. Clio. And, you know, this Darth Vader series has been maybe the most popular of any of the series other than Star Wars, the main title series, which just wrapped up this week with with issue, I almost said episode, issue 75. Um, and it's about to reboot. But Dr. Clio, we're talking about a cybernetically enhanced humanoid. This is a, a doctor who kind of created this cybernetic being within himself where he can be immortal by taking on another host body when his body dies. And he really becomes a major foe of Darth Vader. Um, and eventually him and Vader have to do battle. It doesn't go well for him, but this is a character that a lot of fans of the comic book series have been clamoring to see in some other form of media. Uh, this kind of captivated people for a, quite a while through the Darth Vader run, which is a series that has a lot of reader buzz and a lot of acclaim from Star Wars readers. So this is something to be on the lookout for. Now, it's important to note Darth Vader number one has a number of variants, late printings, all of that. This was a heavily marketed series, but because of that, a lot of these books, whether it's the kind of cover price variants or cover A or late printings, are discounted. They're under cover price or at cover price and readily available. So if you're a diehard Star Wars fan, this is another one I think that you need to grab and squirrel away in your collection because there's a good chance that it could rise in value in the future. So there it is, guys. Those are five Star Wars back issues, cheap and affordable to add to your personal collection right now. So be on the lookout for those. And as always, this is just the first video that we're touching on Star Wars. We'll have other back issue videos for Star Wars titles. So rest assured, we will be coming back for more. But let us know in the comments. Do you have any of these books? Are you going to be on the hunt for any of these? Also let us know. What do you think about that Mandalorian series right now? And do you plan to see that final movie in the latest Star Wars trilogy? With that being said, I'm Brian Wood. And I'm Jack DeMeo, a.k.a. Mr. Bolo. And may the Force be with you. I have spoken.